The provision in the tax code meant for business expenses is being used to write off legal expenses to defend sexual misconduct cases. A Colorado congressman is trying to stop that. Political specialist Sean Boyd joins us live tonight. And Sean, tax dollars for sexual misconduct. Yeah, Karen, corporations in Colorado and across the country are able to essentially silence victims by paying them off. And in many cases, those payoffs are tax write-offs. Congressman Ken Buck says that is wrong. The Harvey Weinstein case opened the floodgates, exposing not only how prevalent sexual misconduct is, but how in some cases, taxpayers have been subsidizing it. This is basically hush money. Congressman Ken Buck says for years, corporations have used settlements in sexual misconduct cases and even attorney fees as tax write-offs. It is a claimed business deduction and, and nobody is in the business of being a sexual predator and so it is not, it should not be a necessary and ordinary uh, business deduction. Buck has introduced the STOP. Settlement tax deductions are over for Predators Act. It would prohibit companies from deducting settlements related to sexual misconduct as business expenses. It's a way of corporations uh, keeping uh, predators on their payroll and uh, dismissing uh, the victims in, in these cases and then continuing uh, as if nothing happened and, and the taxpayers are left holding the bag and, and it's absolutely wrong. A separate bill introduced in the House would prevent lawmakers from using tax dollars for these settlements. A Republican congressman out of Texas reportedly used $84,000 in taxpayer money to settle a sexual harassment complaint. He remains in office. Three other members of Congress have resigned amid allegations. Live in Denver, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First. Sean, thanks. Three